Good morning. I uh, hope I'm finding you well this morning and that, uh, you know, things are going well with you and your family and that, uh, you know, you've, you, you're sort of ready for the lockdown that's now coming uh, from Wednesday night at 12. And yeah, it's, uh, I must say, uh, I was proud last night to be a South African. Uh, I think the president has done a great job and I think they've, they've made decisions based on on uh, you know, great uh, they've consulted with the right of they've consulted with the right people. They have uh, really thought this through. It seems, and uh, I must uh, I, I personally in agreement with what they are doing. Uh, the sooner we can do it, the better. Uh, I know there's there's a lot of people that that this will have a bigger impact on than on others. Um, we also worried uh, in terms of our business and where we are, but that's reality, and uh, we we can choose to focus on things that we can't control or the things that we can control. And and what I can control is what I do every day, what I'm busy with, uh, you know, what I'm focusing on, uh, and that is what I choose to do. So this morning, uh, I'm very very happy again. Uh, he's been a guest on my podcast, Propulsion, uh, before, where we've spoken a lot about about strengths and and how you can really focus on the things that you're naturally good at in order to get ahead in life. And uh, today I, I've got him back because uh, there was an article that he sent me during the week. And when I read this article, I thought to myself, wow, this will be amazing just to, to share this with, with others, in, particularly in these times. Uh, but it will also be applicable to any time in your life when you're faced with a challenge or with adversity. Uh, I think just at the moment, the time is very, very unique in the sense that everybody is uh, is is faced with the same thing. Uh, we were just talking before this that you know everybody's in the same boat. So I honestly hope that everybody's rowing and that there's not other people just pointing out who's not rowing correctly. Uh, this is the time to to really get together. Uh, and it it feels to me like like I'm in a movie. You know, it's um it's it's really something that is it's just unbelievable still to to realize what's happening and that we're going on lockdown uh, and 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 all of that. But anyway, with any further ado. I would like to to welcome uh, Johan Westhuizen uh, back to well for the first time to the live show, but w welcome back to my studio, uh, Johan. I'm very happy to have you here this morning, and thank you for taking the time. I know you only get up at ten in the morning usually, uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> You're up way before me because I receive WhatsApps when I'm still sleeping. So, um, Johan, welcome, welcome to the live show this morning, and thank you for taking the time to to spend some time with us. Well, thank you, Francois. It's nice to be with you in the boat. And uh, as you say, we're going to row together and, and let this boat moving forward. That's the best yeah. option. Absolutely, absolutely. No, I agree, Johan. It's um, it, it's really a a unique time, uh, and this is this is definitely going to go down as one of those times in human history. You know, like there, there's been the world wars and there's been the the, the Great Depression, uh, and I don't even know what else. Uh, I'm not a big history buff, but this will surely be one of those things that's going to go down in history uh, in, in terms of things that we, that we uh, persevered in. And, and there will be a great story to tell at the end, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, so, so let's see how we, how we can tackle this. Um, obviously, one of the things that I want to talk about, uh, so, so what happened was I made a video that I sent to everybody on my WhatsApp group. Uh, I didn't post it on social media. Oh, I did. I did post it on LinkedIn, I think. And um, what I did was I, I uh, when I sent this, uh, Johan actually replied to me and he said, you know, which of your strengths did you use <clears throat> when, you, when you went through the process of what you were talking about? So not, not about the video. <clears throat> I was explaining in the video, you know, what I've done. So when I woke up last week, Monday, and everything was like, <clears throat> oh, hell, what now? I was like really in a frenzy and I was... I didn't really know what's going to happen. And obviously, uh, it's doom and gloom uh, in, in that moment. And I think one should stand still and realize that it's okay to, to sort of think that there's doom and gloom. But you should be very careful of, of getting stuck there and staying there. And then you on asked me, so which one of your strings or which of your strings that you use, you know, to, to get to where you were then by, by the, the, the Wednesday when I sent that video? And I didn't even think about it. Uh, and what I realized in that moment is that maybe we default to a nat our natural instincts and our natural strengths and our natural abilities. You know, when, when we are faced with adversity or when we find ourselves in a position where we don't know, you know, do we go left, do we go right, do we just sit still or whatever we're going to do. Um, and 
and that sort of uh you know sort of i i mean i had to go and sit back because he asked me like let me know of your top 10 which ones did you use and i'm like oh, okay and i used like i think seven or eight of them actually in the process uh, and that for me was just a reminder of how powerful it is when you focus on the things that you are good at what can you use that you naturally have in order to come up with a plan in order to come up with a strategy in order to do the things that you think is best for you to do um and then he sent me an article uh, as i mentioned before uh, and Johan, I really want to want to sort of get into in, into that part of it uh, to just quickly have a discussion around, you know, um, I mean, what happens uh, when there is a strength? Because there's a, there is a difference still between a strength and a natural ability. Uh, am I right in saying in saying that? Yeah, Yo, Francho, you're right. Uh, your, your natural ability is how you think, feel, and behave, and obviously that that's every one of us. But you have to take that knowledge and become aware of that and develop it to your strength. Meaning that you have to get the skills and the knowledge and spend some time there and put in the effort to develop the way that you feel and think about things to a strength. That, that's what you should do. And obviously you are already busy doing it since you and I started our uh, strength journey uh, in the middle of last year. Yes. Um, and <clears throat> is it also then sort of, you know, right to say that when you, I mean, what happens? Do people typically go from, from like, if you, if you land up, let's say in a, in a, in a situation, um, I'm not talking about like a traumatic, like dangerous kind of like you're being hijacked or something, but if you, if you are in a situation where uh, there's a big life change in your life, uh, do we tend to do people tend to go to that, or do people also fall into the into the basement kind of stuff where you fall into into not your strengths, your, your your weaknesses, or the things that you really sabotage? I mean, or do you go from when you have that ability, you go from using the good side of it to you maybe using the bad side of it? What do people tend to do in general, uh, and does knowing how these things work make a difference? Well, that's a very good question, uh, Francois. And as I've said, you must remember it's part of your DNA. What we're talking about is who you naturally are. And because we don't take notice of it, that's why we don't recognize it when anything happens. And we just go through the motions, negative or positive, the way that you react. But what I say to people is the moment when you start to become aware of really who you are, then it starts to make sense for you when anything happens. And you're also right in pointing out the way that you're going to react is going to be either positive or it can be negative, meaning that negative means that, that you are not operating out of the good uh, space, out of your, your talent. Uh, so that's going to be an, have a negative effect in how you're going to react. But if you operate out of the positive of, of your strength and talent, it's going to have a positive effect. So we naturally uh, default in any situation to this. And like you, I was just reflecting back on my own reaction since we started having these really challenging things coming to us. And I realized, you know what? I'm relaxed. I'm not stressed up. And what is the reason for that? And I started really to think and focus on what is happening here with myself. And I realized, but you are you are just operating out of your natural capabilities, your natural strength. And because you do it from a positive point, that's why you're not stressed up. And, and like some of the other people start buying toilet paper and going crazy and don't know how to react. So, yeah, that's, that's everyone... Uh, have this capability we're just not aware of it mm. and also some something i did realize uh, particularly i had a conversation last night as well with someone Jan, and you know people with small children uh, people with elderly parents and those they are they it, 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 i get the idea that they are even more worried so there's this additional layer on on top uh, or, or almost feels like on top and below your yourself because you know it's 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 one thing to focus on yourself but when you have to help those people, you know, sort of do the same thing and, and guide them in doing things uh, and, and almost taking responsibility for them uh, and then the level of worry on top of that. You know, it is, it's quite a lot that people are dealing with uh, at the moment. Uh, and I think it makes it hard 
to to it sort of blurs your own world i think in a in a in a way so you know it it, it really is important to stay focused on you know who you are and and what it is that you you know if you operate from that that natural uh, space of of what you can do you know then then I, we will definitely be able or you will definitely be able to 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 navigate that space with everybody that that that's around you can so I, um, can I think yes. on what you shared with us Francois, the, the important thing yeah is like they they point out in the airlines when you're in the, in an airplane and something happens the 10,000 meters up in the air what they're going to mm -hmm. tell you is put on your own uh, oxygen mask first yes before you can help the other people and that's always a good rule start with your first start with yourself first put on your own oxygen mask first yeah and then you can start helping the other people and yes that means no, definitely. Family, children, the older people people struggling start with yourself first yes absolutely um that's also something that i always tell people is that you got to make sure you're okay you know um because there's a lot of people that because they've got such a giving heart and a caring heart and they're full of empathy and they, and they genuinely want to help they will there's people that will go that far to do it at their own cost um you know and and i don't think that we can really be the best we can be for others unless unless we do that we, unless we put our own masks on first um and and I, I definitely believe in that and that that's very important um Johan, yeah, so one of the things that this article actually mentioned that that was also something new for me to say that, okay, yeah, the, you know, it's, I mean, one of the biggest light bulb moments for me as we were going through this whole strength journey was that it's not that you use that ability in that situation and use this ability in that situation. Where it really becomes powerful is when you start combining your strengths um, and you use two or three or four of them. Uh, like I've done in that without even realizing it, you know, using seven or eight of, of the strengths that I've got to navigate the situation that I found myself in. Uh, there was another level now where they were talking about, you know, uh, sort of the, uh, what is it called? The five, uh, the, the well-being, five essentials of well of well-being. And um, uh, I've got them up on the screen just to sort of, allude to to them and um the five of them are purpose well-being um so, and i'll talk about each of them in, in a second but uh, there's purpose well-being then there's social well-being there's financial well-being there's physical well-being and community well-being and obviously i think if we take maslow's hierarchy you know then it will these things are going to fit in there very i didn't look at that but i'm pretty sure that this is going to also uh, align with that and, and and fit into that so yeah i mean if we talk about uh, purpose, well-being, um, you know, uh, do you want to elude a little bit on, on what that specifically is about? So when we're looking at being well from a purpose point of view, what does that really mean? Purpose, well-being, uh, short and sweet, that, that is what are you busy doing? What is the type of job that you do? And, and make sure that you are busy doing something that you love. And I want to use you this morning as a typical example. Mm. What are you busy doing? You are busy doing something that you love, Francois. Yeah. Uh, so you are automatically defaulting via your strength. Your strength is your oxygen mask mm. to your purpose, to the, to the one thing that you really love to do. That's 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 what you are doing this morning. Yes. So in 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 answer to that, then so once you have something that you that you're doing that you love, and this can be your job, or this can be something that you do alongside your job. It can be something you do even in your spare time. But you need something that you're doing that you really love, and from that perspective, you will feel almost fulfilled uh, from 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 that point of view. So you know, there's happiness. So even if you don't like your job that much, but you have something else that you can do, it will balance out. Um, or if you do have a job that you love, then obviously that that would be the uh, purpose. And it's not always a job. It may be taking care of your kids. It may be, you know, taking care of the elderly. It may be just serving people, you know, through your church or whatever. Whatever that is for you, um, that 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 is what will bring you that feeling well from a from a purpose point of view. And then the next one is social social well being. You've made a very important comment, and you've used the word performance mm. that is the one thing that everyone out there out of 7.25 billion of the people in the world are striving for that to have fulfillment 
And the way to, to, to get to fulfillment or, or the roadmap to that is these five well-being areas. Mm. So if you can really get yourself operating and doing these five things, uh, purpose, well-being, social well-being, financial well-being, your physical well-being, and your community well-being, you will start to feel and experience a really uh, fulfilled life. Yes. But what, is the sad life. Reality? what is the sad reality? Only 7% of the people can honestly say that they're having a fulfilled life because they've addressed all five of these areas. Yeah. At least what, what's been pointed out by Gallup, 66% uh, of the people uh, uh, in the world have one of these areas mm. and they operate there, but it's only 66% of the people. So the sad reality is we all lack a lot in what we are busy discussing this morning yes, absolutely time. yeah please don't think that everybody's got it figured out but you um it's definitely not the case um so then social well-being Johan, is um i mean what is social well-being what what are we talking about social well-being is having all these great relationships that that you feel that there's some other people that love you your family and your kids and your friends it's all about your relationships, mm. uh, those social interactions that we all uh, long for and we're all looking for. So there's no way that you should lock up yourself in your own little place uh, with all the challenges out there and you're not going to connect with any of your family members or yeah. your friends or your colleagues at work. You're sitting there in your own little man cave and, and that's what you're going to do. No, we're not talking about that. Yes. Uh, it's all about those relationships and those people uh, that really are important in your life. That is part of your supporting system and you are interacting with them and, and that's how you keep everything going. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. And then obviously financial well-being, that's an, that's an easy one uh, because once your finances are in place, you can take away all the stress or relieve a lot of stress. Uh, they, I can't remember the stats now, but obviously there's stats out that say that employees that are financial stress are, are a lot less effective in the workplace. You know, so just from that point of view, but also, I mean, if you have a lot of stress because of your finances, uh, it, your relationships may suffer. Your purpose, everything that we're talking about here may suffer. Uh, and I, 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 I don't know if that's the reason why it's in the middle, but I think it is really an important aspect, you know, and one should be working on that uh, as, as one go along. So then the physical well-being, um, Johan, uh, what does that mean? Do I need to exercise and, and look after my body or does it just mean I need to get a haircut and, you know, <laughs> and just look after myself from my outer appearances? What, what do we mean with physical well-being? Uh, Francois, you and I had a joke this morning because <coughs> challenge for you and me to lose a couple of kgs. And that's what we're talking about. Uh, look at your own health. Make sure that you are healthy and, and, and not uh, overweight and things like that. And I was making a joke saying to you, you know what? Being in this lock uh, in situation, I'm going to lose my 20 Ks in 21 days. So that's going to be a good exercise for me. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's going to the gym and doing those exercises and uh, now having a lock in situation. Uh, you can still uh, uh, exercise mm. while you are sitting in your home. I mean, get up in the chair after 45 minutes and walk around for 15 minutes. Do some other exercises in the work, in the house. Go and uh, clean up the garage that's been a mess for the last five years. Do things like that so you can still yeah. be uh, active. Uh, it doesn't mean uh, the gym has been closed down that you can't do any exercises and looking after your health. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And I mean, also some wives will be running away from their husbands after after half a day anyway. So they will also be getting some uh, some exercise in the process, even if it's just running around the house. But I think, yeah, there's, 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 there's lots that we can still do uh, and that we should do. Uh, I, I'm the one that that is definitely the guiltiest of all. Uh, I do tend to focus more on the purpose and the and the financial side of things. Uh, simply because I have a lot of stress in those areas. So the purpose is obviously something I love. So I spend a lot of time doing what I'm doing. Um, and, and it's always, there's, there's always sort of a financial part also driving that from a 
trying to get things stable, trying to get things going in the way that I want them to get going. Um, so then I, I don't look after the social well-being that much, although we do we do do some, we've got our friends and that that we interact with. And luckily, uh, I've got someone like Vainant that, you know, he phones every second day if he doesn't hear from you. So um, so there, there are people out there that, that you know, you, you do have those relationships with outside of your work and outside of, of, of the stuff. And then obviously at home, I'm very lucky to, to work with my wife here. Um, so we get to see one another, although she does complain that I work too much and spend too little time. So, so that's something that now in this time is maybe something that I can, can, can try to balance out again. Um, and then lastly, community well-being. So if we've got social well-being and community well-being, what would be the difference there, Jan? Okay, social well-being, as we've said, that's your relationships. Community well-being is how are you involved and engaged in your own community? Uh, where do you where do you get engaged? In? Are you helping some other people in the community? And I'm not talking about friends and family. How are you involved there? The sick people and the elderly people. Uh, are you part of that? Helping those people because maybe you've got some expertise. And I've just heard some stories from uh, old physicians that's on retirement, and they sort of came out of retirement and mm. voluntarily offered their services to the community. So they've wow. been to the hospitals and uh, they're helping the people. That's what we're talking about. How are you wow. involved in your community uh, where there's a need? And now in yes. the tough times, there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, use for that. Uh, where yes. our older people like you and me have got a lot of experience and expertise, mm -hmm. why don't we put up our hands and volunteer to help in the community? Yeah, no, and it's, so it's about serving, really. Um, as being part of that community and then also serving that community. Um, so all of these things together, obviously, I mean, if you don't have fulfillment, if you are, if you are balanced in all of these areas, then I don't know what's going to bring you fulfillment. But um, uh, I think this is very powerful, Jan. And then to end off, uh, I would like to know, so, so where does strength then fit in your natural ability? So if we look at these, at these five essential elements, uh, and this is, there's a book, um, I will tell you now, I don't know if you know offhand who wrote the book about this. Um, I will tell you in a second um, who wrote this book. So um, anyway, so yeah, so this was, this book is called, the well-being the five essential elements uh by tom roth and roth rath i'm not sure um and jim harter uh so they they they've written this book and um yeah so we uh, you know uh, so it's a it's a separate concept from the strengths thing but how do we how do we combine the two because that can be extremely powerful if, if we get to do that so so how do we i mean can you give us and maybe an example or something just to illustrate how that would work um, and then we can end off with that i'm going to try and make it very easy and practically uh, your five well-being areas is the what you should do the what and your strength is how are you going to do it mm. So looking at you and myself, we've got a different set of strengths. So I'm going to use my own combination of what you've said in the beginning. You're using more than one of your strengths. It's not just the one. Your strength and your natural capabilities are the tools that you have as an individual to go and play on one or four or five of these, I would like to call it playing fields. So how do you use your own capabilities, your natural capabilities, your strength to do the job that you love? How do you do that if you look at your relationships? How do you do that from a financial point of view? And the same with the physical and the same with the, uh, being involved in the community. But now the important thing is, and this is the challenge for people, they don't really know who they are. They don't know what their strengths are. So again, you have to first put on your own mask, start with yourself, start to really understand who you are and how you operate, and then you can go out and you can play on all these different fields. Mm -hmm. They're called well-being. That's the way that I look at it, and that's how I would like to explain it to my own clients out there. The, the well-being areas is, is what you should do, and your strength is how are you going to do it. Oh, and that's amazing. Right in the beginning when we started the conversation, you were doing something, mm. that's the what you should do, and 
then I made you a, t a tender with you say, okay, which of your strengths? Think about it. What is the tools that you are using, Francois, while you are busy doing what you were doing? Yeah. And that's sometimes what we, what we need to do, Johan. The one thing I learned from when you asked me that question was we do need to tend, or we, we should not tend, sorry. <laughs> we, we, we do have to go and sit down and just a little bit reflect on what, what we are doing and why we are doing it. Uh, you know, and you should ask yourself the question, am I doing this? Is this helping me or is this hurting me what I'm doing? Um, because if we can do that, you get a better sense of, you know, like, okay, I should do more of this and less of this, or I should do more of this and less of that. Um, it's it's important from, from that because I think the way we're going to get through this is, is mindset and cooperation, working together, everybody doing their, their little bit. Um, I mean, nothing. We, we thought the 95 World Cup brought people together and the, the last World Cup brought people together. And this is something that's going to bring us really, really together because for the first time, doesn't matter what who says, for the first time, we all have one goal ahead of us in this country and, in fact, in the world. You know, um, it's, 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 it's actually such an amazing time and it feels to me like this is something to reset I won't say the universe, but to reset Earth, maybe, you know, and get us back to where where we were. Um, you know, let us realize what is really important. Let us focus on the things that we really enjoy and and really understand that life is short. You know, um, it's 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 so. Uh, in our accounting practice, uh, the lady that works there, one of our clients, um, somebody that that she knows. I, I'm not sure if it's an employee or whatever, but she she contracted Corona, so that's not very far removed from us. You know. And those things start to eat home to understand, like, this isn't something that's happening in some offshore country somewhere where we would never go. It's right around us. And I mean, if you think how quickly this thing spread, and now it's in all, all our provinces, uh, there's at least one, one, uh, uh, one, one patient with, with corona. It's, um, yeah, it's a scary, scary thought of where this could go. And, and this is the thing that I think people also didn't realize is where it could go and how quickly it could go there. Um, and, and that's the thing. So this is all now making us pull together. Uh, I think what they, as I said, the announcements and everything from last night was, for me, I, I don't think they could have done better than that. It'll be interesting to see, you know, there's a lot of help for businesses and like <clears throat> really what's going to happen when, when, when they need help and, and how that would be. But, um, you know, whatever the, the thing is, we, we're human. We will get up again and we, are, we will move forward. And we will be better after this than, than we were before. Um, so that's just my, my view and my opinion. Um, and uh, Jan, on that note, I want to say thank you very, very much for your time this morning. Uh, I think it's been a very insightful conversation. It, it, it must bring a lot of value to, to everyone that is that is watching. And if you're watching the recording, thank you for watching the recording. Um, yeah, so uh, what's going to happen next is now at 9 o'clock, we're doing the Zoom training session. Uh, as I said yesterday, the... Uh, that will also be broadcast live on YouTube uh, simply because we can only, uh, or our license on Zoom only allows 100 people into the webinar itself. But we are simulcasting live to YouTube. So you can watch exactly what we're doing on YouTube. If you can't get into, into the webinar, I apologize for that. I've also learned in the process. Uh, I tried reaching out to Zoom to ask them if they don't want to allow us, but they haven't come back to me as yet. Uh, simply because, well, because we are training people on Zoom, so it's to their benefit. So I tried to get them to to increase our license just for today. Uh, but obviously, I think with the amount of requests and everything they're getting, we haven't been able to 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 get a response. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. We roll with the punches and, and we will do it. I want to wish you and your family all the best. Uh, thank you very much for watching these live streams. I'm live every single day from 8 until 9 in the morning. I will do it for as long as I, as, as, as I can. And uh, for as long as this lasts, possibly. So let's see. Let's spend some time together. Let's have a coffee. And, uh, yeah, I just wish you and your family well. Stay safe and, and look after one another. And uh, focus on the things that, 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 that you really enjoy doing. Uh, it will keep you sane in these times and also give you that purpose and, and things that you want to focus on. So thank you very much, Johan, uh, from my side to you as well. Thank you so much uh, for everything that you do. Uh, and, um, yeah, if people want to get hold of you, possibly, where can they get hold of you, Johan? Uh, Francois, I think uh, the best is that I'm going to send a link that people can connect with me via LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, you can also use those articles, uh, the links for people to get some more information around this topic. And remember, we're all unique. We all need each other. It's not the one oak is better than the other. 
uh, we need some people in the in in the front of the boat, and we need some people in the middle, and we need some people in the back of the boat. We all yep. need each other. And focus on your strength, and keep on rowing the boat in the right direction. Yep. Thank you, Johan. And with that, I wish you a great day. And if you're joining us for the Zoom session, I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow morning, same place, same time. Thank you. Keep well.